Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome to our Minecraft video. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a 3x3 button combination lock. So the idea behind this is, you press in the buttons, the right combination and you get an output. But if you don't uh, do the right combination, you will get a wrong output. And if uh, you try to press all of the buttons, you won't be getting any output whatsoever. So the rest of behind this is really simple, it is just this part over here. Or the other, all the other things are just the wiring. So don't just get scared because this is only the, the simple wiring. So what happens is there's a RS snow latch over here, which means two droppers facing into each other, and the item is over here. Whenever you press a button, the item will go over here, and the comparator will take an output, which will turn off this torch, and uh, then you will get an output. And whenever you have four all of those uh, just turned off you will get a uh, output otherwise if only uh, if uh, even just one of them is not correct you will not get an output so to build this thing you will need all the items in my inventory and uh, what you wanna do is firstly get yourself a 3x3 area and uh, put on all of your buttons like so now we're going to be firstly doing the input of this thing so what are you wanna do is uh, place down three blocks like that and three blocks like that over here and same on the other side three blocks like that and three blocks like that and then you want to extend out the top ones and add three repeaters like that three repeaters over here and it is going to be using a lot of repeaters so you have to keep that in mind and uh, two repeaters like this and the rest on dust over here and same on the other side now what you want to do is uh, place down blocks on the front of these repeaters and uh, put down a block over here in the bottom like so and place down three blocks like this so you want to add repeaters on these like this, three repeaters on each side and redstone dust over there. So now what you want to do is place down blocks like that on uh, these two sides and add a repeater like that, repeater like that and then add blocks on the front of those and add blocks like this and add redstone dust over there and then place down the blocks like this and uh, add repeaters running over like this from those blocks now what you want to do is head back over here and add blocks like that and now we're going to be taking a redstone over there and add repeaters going just like this to the end over here so now what you want to do is uh, go and place down blocks like that four blocks like that and add repeaters like so and add a block over that top now come over here and uh, add a block like that and uh, two blocks like this and uh, uh, blocks like that repeaters over there and two redstone bits over there and we're gonna do the same over here and add blocks like that redstone and uh, then two blocks with repeaters so now what you wanna do is add three blocks like this and add repeaters on them and uh, take a block over there a block like that and a repeater over there and a redstone dust over there now place down five blocks like this and add repeaters on all of those and add a redstone bit on the end over here now place down four blocks like this and a block right over there and a block over here and add redstone to all of this and add uh, repeaters like that and then we will go over here and add a repeater over here if you want you can also add uh, redstone but uh, it will fi just uh, do some uh, funny bits with the other redstone so I will recommend using repeaters like so and uh, we have all of the inputs done now this step is not necessary but it will make the building easier so you want to get uh, pistons these are going to be temporary and add blocks on their front any blocks would do and uh, this is to test out of what uh, combination you want to so uh, you will just take whatever uh, combination you want I'm going to be going with a T this time just like that and this is going to be the 5 one so we will see that what a uh, uh, place to take the output so these are going to be the blocks we're going to be taking an output from so I'm just gonna add blocks like this so these are not going to be the used ones so I'm just gonna add blocks like that and extend out the repeaters like so and we will take these ones as well so this is going to be making your building much easier now you can just remove all of these you won't be needing them and if you can you can just do it manually so now go and add the blocks over here on the top of the repeaters that are not going to be your uh, right one and uh, we're just gonna connect them up somehow so I'm just going to be taking a redstone like this 
and uh, it's going to be the uh, like different for all of you because your combinations are going to be different and if this does uh, just connect like that you can just place a block and it will not connect right now and uh, we will just do the main core so you want to come here and add blocks like this and uh, place down droppers now droppers uh, not dispensers so we're going to place down two over here in the front of the repeaters that are going to be powering these and uh, we're just going to break those and add temporary blocks like so and place them like this facing down we're going to do that for all of these and uh, have a roof of blocks like this and then connect this roof with the redstone that is the wrong one so now uh, whenever the wrong password is given your uh, whole system is going to be just uh, reset it which will be pretty good and use a slab over here and we're just gonna go like this and add it all over over uh, droppers over here like that and uh, now what you want to do is take slabs like this and place them on the second dropper over here like that and add comparators so comparators will be taking output uh, from your droppers and just add uh, blocks like that and add redstone torch on these blocks and redstone like this and then join up all of the uh, uh, torches like this so we're gonna take a block of line block like this and uh, connect them up with a redstone line and uh, now we will add a torch uh, on, on anywhere on these blocks you can add it anywhere I'm just gonna add it over here and uh, this torch will be your output whenever you uh, just uh, give in the right uh, combination this torch will be on so you can just connect it to uh, like a door or whatever you want to and uh, that will be your combination lock now what you want to do is uh, take uh, any kind of blocks and uh, uh, item and add it to the bottom dropper over here I'm just gonna use diamond block and that is the whole combination lock completed it was that easy so I'm just gonna add the combination that was the T like though like that and you will see that the torch is turned on and now if I uh, just uh, press the uh, press the wrong button like that one it will just uh, turn the torch off and add a repeater over here if the whole line is not getting lit so the whole thing will be resetted and now what you can do is connect up this redstone line with a button to reset it I'm not going to be doing that if you want to you can reset it like that add the button but uh, yeah, that was the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and goodbye.